a lot of stirred up feelings. Anyway, I decided I needed a strategy and I decided I will make a painting every single day I go to radiation. I'll make them quick, I'll make them small. And so we were in Portland, I think for some medical appointment, and we went to the art store and I bought 33 of these little plant panels that I could use um, because I didn't want to be preparing things. And I allowed myself 20 minutes for each um, painting. And the other rule was I couldn't plan it ahead because I knew I'd overthink it. You know, I'm just, I'm pretty cognitive yeah. too. Uh -huh. And so I would come home from radiation and I would put them up on that big easel and I would just start. And um, then I would sit down after I did it and I'd write a couple sentences. And the book actually, I didn't set out to write a book. It became a book. When I, after I did the painting, and that one's right up, well, that's next to, you'll, you'll see them. They're in sequence starting on the left. It's about half the Yeah, I see it now. Okay. Um, so after I did the painting, then I would write something. And this is literally what I wrote. There might be a few comma changes because the editor liked to be in charge of commas. Yeah. Whatever's in here is what I wrote. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's just, you know, one sentence. And the title, too, literally would pop up after I had done this <laughs> and wrote this. It was one, two, three. Um, no, so I did all this to help take care of myself and to have some sense of control over a situation that felt very scary and out of control to me. You know, I couldn't control the cancer. I couldn't not have it. You know what I mean. Oh, yeah. you know, that's cancer leaving my body. But then this one, when I did it the next day, and you'll see this, and the, they look like little men to me. Yeah. So I have this moment of empathy for my cancer. So it was just bizarre.